even before New Year's, I've been telling y'all, my goal is to not react. I could not react right now. I could just be like, you know what, peaches, don't say nothing. Let let them have it. Let her have it, right? But I just can't because it bothers me. So I'm going to tell you what happened. Last night in my class, y'all know I do a mindset and content class every night for the rest of January. We are meeting from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Everybody knows how I behave. I cuss. I act like my normal self, right? Last night, I gave everybody an assignment during class to complete which is their thumbnails because I want them to do more YouTube videos. I told them to make a thumbnail that looked like this. Spend the day with Peach. I put my seven kids right here in red so it stands out. I explained the concept. I put this picture just because it was one of the only pictures that I had in this particular phone that I could access really quickly. So after everybody did their thumbnails, I told them to send them to me so I could share them with the class and give them input. My student, Barbie, sent this thumbnail. Me looking at it, I said, just being honest, I don't know her, right? Outside of class, I don't know anything personal. I said, oh, I love your thumbnail. I have no advice. I would watch this. It's like you there at Chuck E. Cheese with your grandkids um, with the glass of wine. Like, girl, what is you doing at Chuck E. Cheese uh, with the wine? Chuck E. Cheese do sell wine and they sell beer. I would want to watch this. The thumbnail looks great. She didn't say anything. You know what this lady decided to do? She decided to make a TikTok video and tag me in a video talking about how I call her grandmother and it's been bothering her all day. Bitch, you could have told me that last night in class. You could have said, excuse me, peaches. I'm very direct. You could have said, excuse me, peaches. You didn't even have to say excuse me. You could have been like, hold up, who you calling a grandma? I ain't no grandma. I got kids. This look like an old lady church hat and this is not me being funny. You look like an older lady, like you got grandkids in this picture. That's not me being funny. That's not me trying to pick on you. That's me being honest with you. Um, and it could be because my family, we have kids young, like 16, 17, 18. We have kids young. So that could be why I think that this photo looks like a grandmother. But you could have texted me that. You have my phone number, my personal number, my business. I'm sorry, my business number. You could have texted me, hey, Peaches, you offended me. You could have waited until tonight when we meet in class again and say, excuse me, Peaches, last night or just Peaches. Let, the same shit you said in your video, you could have said that to me directly. You didn't have to go make a video and say how I offended you because I called you a grandmama because of your thumbnail. And you're not a grandma, you a mom. This picture, I'm going to double down on what I said. This picture looks like an older lady that's like a grandma going to Chuck E. Cheese with her grandkids. I'm going to double down. And because you didn't text me and say that and said in class you decided to come to the internet, I'm going to react on the internet. I hope you get views on your videos. Maybe that was the intent, you know, to get more views on your videos. I don't know. Because me, the kind of person I am, the first time a person offend me, I stop them right in their tracks. And I speak up for myself and I tell them, hey, I ain't like when you said X, Y, and Z. Hey, I ain't like how you move like this. Because I'm a bluntly honest person this coming to the internet with this i don't understand it and i gave everybody pointers like even people with thumbnails was ugly i told them your thumbnail is ugly here are some of my other students thumbnails t styles did a great job i told her that it's great it's beautiful uh tara did a great job with her and her kids i just told her hey you need to put a little border around it make your words stand out a little bit more whitney with the trio girls perfect she didn't even use text i gave everybody pointers anybody could have stopped me if if i ever say something that, that offends you you could tell me to my face and I could say, oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intent. I apologize. I know how to say I'm sorry to your face if I'm wrong. But if I meant what I said, I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry that that offended you. I thought you were a grandma based on how the picture looked with the hat. It looked kind of, you know, elderly, uh, not elderly, uh, older, older, like uh, grandma. So Peach Patch, my New Year's resolution, even before New Year's, I've been telling y'all, my goal 